like a toolbox, but really it's a tool. These medication lockboxes are building barriers between opioids and people who may have this wrong idea. Because it's prescribed by a doctor that it's safe. And then it opens. Sarah Fritz works for the Lancaster County District Attorney's Office. Using drug forfeiture money, they've purchased $4,000 worth of lockboxes for the community. We typically are prosecuting after a crime has already occurred, but the DA thought that it was really important that we um, sort of start to take a look at things from the other side and, and to sort of get ahead of the game. Schools, churches, and medical offices are asking for them, including Wellspan Health. Every narcotic addiction starts somewhere. Dr. Beth Esterbrook says she'll recommend the lockboxes to her patients with memory problems, those living with someone who has a history of addiction, and especially the elderly. If they're prescribed a medication and they're having pain, I want them to be able to take their medications. It's not fair to them to have their pain uncontrolled because someone is, you know, misusing their medications. Dr. Esterbrook says some patients ask for help when their opioids go missing. Others are in disbelief. I think some patients are not willing to accept that. A lot have concerns, and I have had some that have addressed them with me. The lockboxes are not totally tamper-proof, but if you find it broken... We're hoping that it will start a conversation. The DA is including talking points on the back. In Lancaster County, Hannah McDonald, News 8. And you can always take your unused, unwanted, or expired medications to a safe drug take-back location. You can find the closest drop-off to you on WGL.com. There's a link in our State of Addiction section. Just look under Get Help.